Yes, this is the judge's order making sure that that initiative is on the ballot in a couple of months. We reached out to the city clerk who was over elections here in Detroit about her opposition to this measure or at least getting on this ballot in November. She is not commenting. What would otherwise just be an event to rally the cause of reparations, you know, you seem to be um, stonewall um, illegally, inappropriately. Attorney Todd Perkins sounding off on the process to get a measure on the ballot that he says would change Detroit's charter and move the city a step closer to getting reparations for black Detroiters. The city's election commission initially barred it from the November ballot, even though Perkins and his organization, the People's Voice, garnered enough signatures. I told you before, you've been reporting on this for quite some time, just with our group on this particular issue. I told you then in June that this was going to happen. Perkins sued city clerk Janice Winfrey and the city attorney Lawrence Garcia, as well as the election commission and department of elections. The director of that department signed a sworn affidavit last week saying it was too late to make a change to the ballots and that Perkins petitions did not have a second page or a reverse side with any proposed language for his ballot measure. That's a lie. Yeah. That's an absolute lie. Out of this almost 600 sheets or uh, petitions, every single one of them has a reverse side. And on that reverse side, language for the ballot initiative. Wayne County's chief judge sided with Perkins last Friday and ordered that his measure be placed on the November ballot. The city asked the court to reconsider that decision Monday but was shot down. When the re city recognized, the defendants recognized that they lost, they had the nerve to ask the judge because their failures, their lies, to put it on the next general election ballot. We reached out to city clerk Janice Winfrey on both Monday and Tuesday for an interview or a statement. A spokesman says she's choosing not to comment at this time. Perkins intends to seek sanctions against the director of the elections department who wrote the affidavit that he calls a blatant lie. What I want to know is why? Why would you do this? If someone told you to do this, those are the steps that need to be taken. Those are the, un, the unearthed uh, issues at this point that need to be ferreted out. All right, so the judge ordered this initiative to be on the ballot for November 2nd, and we've got a couple of hard deadlines coming up. First, these ballots have to be in the mail for military members and overseas voters by September 18th, and also all the deadline for all ballots to be printed out is 40 days before the November 2nd uh, election, and that date, September 23rd. Hugh, Monica. Pretty short window. Thanks, Randy, for that live report.